Yo, what's up? DJ L Spade here. My oh boy, Lex Campbell. I let you boy. In the red destroyer. This is the random show, baby. All right, today we're going to be talking about a few trends that caught our attention. Ryan, what's the first one? Glowing donuts. You got to be fat as hell to have glowing the dark donut. Yeah. Oh, it takes time. I got a whole snuck. Oh, shit. There it go. Why? I'll tell you why. Because people are bored. I, I knew it was gonna be fucked up from the moment I heard glowing donuts. I was like, there's gonna be something fucked up in it that makes it glow, right? They take up B, B12 vitamins, or uh, I think it was B12. Yeah, yeah. And they crush them up. And the B, the B vitamins glow under black light. They put that in frosting, and they put the frosting on the donuts. You know there is a toxicity level for vitamin. They took like hella B pills, just like a whole tub of it, and just crushed them all up into powder. There are some risks with that. You guys are, you guys are missing a a huge thing here though. Who uh, usually has black lights? Police? Hi hippies. Forensics? People who smoke something. I thought people look for nuts that time. Oh, like psychedelics? No, just people who, who smoke a lot of weed. It's for growing? Yeah, it's just it's fun. Weed is becoming legal in a lot of states. So people are just really fucking high. Yeah, it's not get high thing, and then just like make these Four, glowing man. donuts. Like do something more productive <laughs> with your time. You gotta eat it under a black light. Give it! Come loud. Come loud. Put the black light on. Anyway, what's next, Ryan? Robot arm that will feed you. This is fat as fuck, too, man. Like, why is everything technology to help you get fat? That's the point of technology. <laughs> it's like, to help you be lazy. It's like that, that movie Wally, where everybody was just sitting <laughs> at down, those chairs. Yeah, chairs. Everybody's got lazy, man. That's like literally what's happening, man. I could only really see that if someone's debilitated. That's right? The point. That's the point. If you don't have working limbs, yeah. you have a robot arm to compete, that actually would be a good point. But if you got some of these, and, 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 and some of these, mm. get your goddamn ass up. Hey, that's, that's a good thing. The technology could be used for people who are like paralyzed. However, you know, regular folks gonna be getting that giant, man. Yeah, and they're gonna they think have, it's cool, yeah, and then they're gonna get used to using it. Uh, look, my, my robot hand can jack me off, look. You know what's coming next, right? Hope it's soft. I guess you can put like a nah, hand, man, they gotta at least have like, puppet. yeah, they need like a latex hand or something. Maybe it'll have like different speeds. And they got you gotta, yeah, you gotta be able to dial that <laughs> precise <laughs> stroke. The grip strength. Yeah, oh, you know? that, that is crucial. And if you want more pressure at the at the tip, yeah. oh, man. someone's some, gonna rip their some dick MIT off. like you know Somebody's student. Yeah. He's like taking notes. Let's see speed pressure. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Dollar idea. What's the next one, man? <laughs> 3D printed vegan meat. No, just eat meat. Yeah, no. Like if no. if being a vegan is that hard for you, like re-examine your life choices. It shouldn't be hard if it's something that's like really important. To you. Is how can it be vegan if it's printed? Well, vegan it doesn't come actual... from an animal. That's the point. Like no animal. But doesn't it be natural? Products. So uh, I don't so, think that's part of the criteria. So I can eat they... paper and be vegan. Yeah. That's stupid. Well, yeah, I don't mind vegans and stuff like that, but why do they have to make like vegan chicken or vegan meat or because vegan Because they things? can't kick it. That's my problem with you vegan guys, man. Y'all get all preachy and <laughs> I don't think meat because I'm so progressive and animals hurt. Eat the fucking meat, man. Uh, you making fake meat. Can I chime in? Do your research on plants because plants are more aware they of suffer. their surroundings yes. and what's being done to them than you think. So if you don't eat meat because animal suffering, that means you're choosing to make plants suffer. You know, I had a... And that's a fact. They can't suffer. I had suffer. an argument with a guy on Instagram about this. When you I can did tell that, me about I that. I did that vegan um, thing. Yeah. And I was like, if you vegan, try to be... I did the same argument you did. He's like, animals are sentient. How do you know? Yeah, there's like... You a, ever been a plant? There's a pretty good... There's been some like pretty good research done recently that shows that trees and things actually are sentient. Yes, they are. And they even have like a language. Something's gotta die. Yeah, how are we picking and choosing, man? Like, so you're not no better than anybody eating this meat. Somebody gotta kill the meat. Somebody gotta harvest the carrots that have feelings too. Yeah. You ain't no better than us. Also, organic farming and all that shit takes up more land. Yeah, it does. Another thing, I'm gonna roll, man. Look, when you take the farm equipment through the fields to get their their wheat grass. Whatever. Um, think about all the animals that get chewed up sure. with them tractors. Sure. All the field animals, the snakes. Oh, but when that counts the snakes, sorry, because they're not cute, huh? Yeah, when that counts snakes and the dumb beetles, sorry. Yeah, vegan. You ever thought about that? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of death in your footsteps, even if you're a vegan. Eat a bacon wrapped dick and die. Yeah, tofurkey bake bacon wrapped tofu dick. 